Hello, everybody. All right, so muscle practical number one, okay? The first muscle you guys need to know is the upper cranius frontal belly, and that's this guy up here. Okay, that's the forehead. The opicularis oculi is the muscle right around the eye. The opicularis oris is the one around the mouth. The masseter is the one on the jaw right here. And the templaris, templaris, I guess, is this one up here. Okay. Oh, uh, muscle of the neck and vertebral column that you need to know is the sternocleidomastoid, and that's the one that connects from like basically the back of your ear all the way down to your clavicle, which you can't see on here. But on uh, this guy here, you can see kind of um, see it over here down to the clavicle. Okay. Um, next is the external and internal intercostal. Those two, I think, are going to be found in the book only, from my understanding anyway. If it changed, I will let you guys know. But, let me look for it. Okay, so, external intercostal and internal intercostal are these two here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the external intercostal is this one, and internal intercostal is that one. And the external one starts from the back, and it goes toward the front. The internal one starts from where your sternum is, and it kind of goes toward the back. So that's one way you can think about it. The other way is if you look at the line, like the line of the muscle and how the muscle is arranged, the external one looks kind of like a little TP. So this one you have to like open up your own picture and look at it to see it clearly, I think. But the line of the muscle would make a little TP thing uh, with the spine in the back, whereas this one right here is going to make a V shape with the spine in the back. The diaphragm is this guy over here in the picture. In the model that we have, if you open him up, okay, so do that, open up the front part, see the little pink slitter right here? That's your diaphragm. Okay. Rectus abdominis, if you close him back up, you'll see the abs. That's your rectus abdominis. External oblique is the muscle right next to the rectus abdominis on both sides. That's external oblique. Then you have internal and transverse oblique. So if you take the external oblique that I was just going over and then you peel it off, see the picture here? This is the external oblique. Deep to that is the internal oblique. And deep to that is the transverse oblique. So we just keep peeling the muscle and you see the layer underneath it. Okay, so external, internal, transverse. The pig minor is the next one on the list. That one, I can only find a picture of it too. I couldn't find it in, in any of the models. But see over here, that one, that's your pig minor. And it's underneath your pig major, which is this muscle right here. But that one is your pig minor. Serratus anterior is the riblets on the side. So over here, that's serratus anterior. Trapezius is the big triangular thing on the back. Mm -hmm. Let me move this. There you go. So there, the big triangular thing on the back, that's trapezius. The rhomboid minor and rhomboid major. Again, those two are in the book. If you look on the back of your shoulder blade, I guess, you see these three strands of muscles, right? The little one in the middle, that's the rhomboid minor, and the one on the bottom, that's the rhomboid major. 
Okay, so run by minor, run by major. The pictorialist major, like the pig major, is this one right here. Pictorialist major. The delta is this part, right? Everybody know that delta right here. Um, latissimus dorsi, that's the lower back, so it's this muscle right here on the lower back. The subscapula is supraspinatus and infraspinatus kinda go together. And this is in the big arm. So this is your other model, the big arm. You have the delta right here. When you take the delta off, so you can wiggle him out. There you go. When you take the delta off, see the scapula right here and see the spine of the scapula. Remember if you flip to the side of the scapula, it's called a subscapula, right? So that's that muscle right there. That's the subscapula is. And supraspinatus and infraspinatus. So remember the, sup the supraspinatus means like above the spine. And infraspinatus is below the spine, right? So the supraspinatus is this part right here. The infraspinatus is this part right here. And it's only this section. So it's only this little triangular looking muscles over here. Then the last thing that you need to know are the teres minor and teres major, right? So when you look at the big arm, this one, the teres minor is this one right here, and teres major, major is one right where your armpit would be. So find the teres major first. Teres minor is the muscle right above it. Okay, so minor, major. And on the full body guy, if you look back here, see where his armpit is? That one is the teres major, and the one right above it, that one is the teres minor. And that is it for first muscle practical. Good luck studying.